Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Well, it is already the end of April and that means it's time for some more favorites. Again, I can't believe how fast this month has gone by. I feel like every month just keeps going by faster and faster. And this month, I didn't have a ton, ton of favorites this month. Um, I've got a couple of hair products, two foundations, some lip products, and then two other items as well that I loved throughout the month. So let me give you a peek of the things that I've been loving and using throughout the whole entire month of April. First off, I'm going to start off with my hair products. And my first product that I really loved at the beginning of the month was this Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. At the beginning of the month, my husband and I were out of the country on a little weekend vacation. We went to St. Martin and whenever it is either humid outside or it is raining outside, I have naturally wavy hair. So if it's either of those weather conditions, there is absolutely no hope for my hair. So I have to leave my hair curly. And since it was so hot down in the Caribbean, I brought the surf spray with me and I decided to give it a try. Over the years, I've tried a lot of different kind of mousses and gels in order to keep my hair curly and nothing ever was that holy grail product that I absolutely fell in love with until I tried this. I would, after my shower, I would just leave it wet and then I would just kind of put this in and I would scrunch my hair up with it. I would not blow dry my hair. I would just let this leave in and scrunch my hair waiting for it to dry. And this left the most beautiful wavy curls in my hair. My hair didn't get crunchy or gross. It didn't really leave any kind of feeling, you know, kind of that grossness to your hair, but it just left these really nice waves in my hair. And I really fell in love with this product. And this is kind of a small size. I used up a lot of it, but just like it says on here, beachy windswept styles. It really gave me that while I was on vacation. So I know throughout the entire summer when it's hot outside, I will be reaching for this to do my hair with. Another product that I also loved throughout the month, it's also from Bumble and Bubble. It's called the Brilliantine, and it says on here, it gives hair a polish and a sort of languid, slept in, sexy look. And basically, this is just a cream, and after I do my hair, and I've either you know curled it or I've straightened it, however I wanna style it for that day, I put a little bit in my hands and I rub it together, and I just kind of put my hands through my hair, and this really gives your hair shiny and kind of tames down any frizzies that you have going on with your hair. So I really like this because it kind of also acts as a hairspray as well and just kind of keeps everything down and in place and gives you a smooth and polished look. This past month, I also purchased two new foundations and I've been kind of alternating throughout both of them throughout the past month. The first one that I purchased is the Tarte this is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. And this is a mineral powder, and it looks like this. This, What's really nice about this compared to other mineral powders is it's got this kind of mesh in the bottom, and then you put your, your brush down in it, you kind of dab it down, then you can tap off the excess that you get on it. So that's really nice because instead of opening up and having powder fly everywhere, that mesh kind of keeps it in place. And I purchased this because I was on the hunt for a new mineral powder foundation. In the past, I had used Bare Essentials, but I noticed over time that it was getting really kind of cakey on my skin and I didn't like the look of it. And I wanted to try this too because it says it is full coverage. Now, I do have it on my face today. I will say for me, I don't feel like it is totally full coverage, but I'm sure if I built it up a little bit more, it could be full coverage. For me but I really like this because I just there's days when I don't want to have a liquid foundation on my face especially if I'm breaking out I like to have the powder on my face instead and it just it goes on really soft and really smooth and it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face either I also purchased with it I believe this is called the air bookie from Tarte and what's really nice about it is just it's so flat and dense and it's also really soft as well I'm sure you could use other kind of flat brush brushes like this that you've maybe used for other mineral powder but I had read a lot of reviews that the two of these when they're paired together they create a really nice natural look on your face so again that's what I have on my face right now again it's really natural stays on your face it doesn't come off like when you touch your face like other powder foundations do overall really like this and again I have oily skin and I have found that this works really well it doesn't make me very greasy throughout the day 
The other foundation that I've been loving as well, I purchased about uh, two weeks ago. It's from It Cosmetics. It is the Your Skin But Better CC Cream, and I have it in the color light. I wanted to try this because everybody I heard talking about it said that it was full coverage and it definitely is, especially for being a CC cream. That is kind of surprising because you expect kind of CC creams and BB creams to be a uh, lighter foundation, kind of that lighter coverage on the face, but this goes on like a full coverage foundation. I prefer to use this by putting some on my hand and then I use my beauty blender on it and then I just kind of stipple it in all around my face. And this just makes my skin look absolutely flawless. My skin looks clear and it kind of looks like I almost have an airbrush foundation on it. It also helps too, I think that it's that CC cream. So I'm getting some skin benefits as well. So have really been loving this. I purchased mine at Ulta. Uh, Elta is now carrying It Cosmetics um, in their stores as well. And if you haven't been to Ulta lately, I highly recommend going and checking out your store because in addition to It Cosmetics, they're also carrying Mally Beauty in the store as well. And I know a lot of the stores have kind of rearranged how everything is in the store. So definitely head out there and take a look at it and pick up some of this as well. You will not regret getting that. There are three lip products that I've been loving throughout this month. The first one is the Nivea. This is the a Kiss of Olive Oil and Lemon. This is basically just a lip balm and it's green, so don't let that scare you, but it goes on like a clear lip balm. And I've talked in the past, I, be, I don't believe if I've done talked about it in a video, but I've talked on my blog about different kind of lip care products that I like. For the longest time, I absolutely loved Burt's Bees. That was my holy grail lip balm. Then maybe about oh, six months or so ago, I started to try some other ones. And this is one that I've really, really fallen in love with. I didn't know how I would feel about the olive oil and the lemon, but there, there's definitely a a scent to it. it. It's not olive oil or lemon. I can't put my finger on what it is, but this is just a really nice lip balm to put on throughout the day. I keep mine on my desk at work and I just put it on whenever I need to have something on my lips. And it just, it goes on really smooth, keeps your lips hydrated, and it's kind of got a, a little bit of a slippery texture feeling to it, but I like that when I have it on my lips. So I've been loving that. Another lip product that I've loved as well throughout the month is the Revlon Lip Butter, and this is in the color Sweet Tart, Sweet, Sweet Tart, like the candy, Sweet Tart. And I can't remember, I think in the past, when these first came out, I went through one of these really fast, and then about a few months ago, I repurchased this one, and it's been fun to bring this color back out now that it's nicer out, and it's spring, and it's almost the summertime. This is just a very wearable pink that you can wear every day. It's the color that I have on my lips and we all know about the Revlon lip butters. They're really buttery and smooth and soft. They keep your lips hydrated throughout the day. The color stays on throughout the day and it's, you can build it up. You can make it sheer as well. What I prefer to do when I put it on is I just kind of do it around my lips like two times and I put my lips together, kind of pucker it out. And to me, that's the most beautiful, perfect kind of everyday wearable pink that I like to wear on my lips. The other lip color that I've been loving throughout the month as well is the Color Whisper from Maybelline, and it, it is in the color Pin Up Peach. Now, when I got this last year, the name kind of scared me because it says peach, and I don't really like peachy, orangey, corally tones on my skin. It kind of makes me look like a clown. But as you can see, it's it does have that peach color, but it's also kind of a darker coral color. It's got some pink in it and some gold flecks as well. And for me, this is the perfect your lips, but better lip color. I put this on every morning uh, in my car on the way to work, and it is just the perfect natural shade of kind of a, a corally pink for me. And I don't know, I just, I can't describe it. I, if I were you and you're looking for a new lip color, go out and pick up the pinup peach because it's not what it, the, it's not a peach color. So you'll be definitely surprised when you try that out. So those are all my beauty favorites for the month. I have two other non-beauty favorites. My first favorite are a pair of shoes that I got from Steve Madden. And these are these leopard kind of tennis shoes. I forgot the exact name of these. Uh, maybe it said, no, it doesn't say it on the bottom here. Um, but I will put a link down below. Maybe it's, let me, oh, these are the eccentric, the eccentric by 
Steve Madden. And I thought these were just so fun because I typically wear ballet flats every day or in the summer I wear sandals. And this was just kind of a fun, funky way to dress up an outfit. I love Steve Madden when they do the leopard print on shoes because it's kind of this, what does it say in here? It says it is a cow hair on here. So it's really smooth. And I think because it is that cow hair on here, that's what makes it look like a real kind of leopard as opposed to it just being a print. Um, it's really soft and this leopard wears forever. I have a pair of leopard heels with this on and they still look absolutely brand new. But these are kind of a tennis shoe. They just slip on. They're so comfortable to wear. I will warn you guys that if you are going to order these, you should order a size up. That's what I had been told by other people who I know who had purchased these shoes. I wear a nine and a half and I went up to a 10 and they fit absolutely perfect on me. So these are just kind of a fun way to dress up an outfit and get your leopard print in, but you're, you're also being kind of comfy um, at the same time. The last favorite that I have for this month is this charger that I have. It's an external battery charger that I use for my phone. And it looks like this, and it's not the prettiest looking thing um, anymore. I purchased this from QVC probably about a year and a half ago, and it is the Halo pocket power. Now when I bought this, since I love leopard print, uh, this did have leopard print all over it. As you can see, there's kind of some black spots left, but basically the leopard was painted on here. So on my little case that I keep it on in here, it's all black on the inside. And I've noticed on my hands, the, the paint is worn off. So that's kind of disappointing, but this is an absolutely fantastic thing to keep in your purse for those days when you're out and about and you're cell phone is starting to die and you're not anywhere near an outlet to plug in. All you have to do is plug this in and it comes with this little cord and different kind of hookups for the end of it and you can just charge it and you keep it in your phone and it's charging throughout the day. And this came in really, really handy for me because this past weekend I flew back to Wisconsin to see my family for the weekend. And on Sunday when I was coming back from out of town when I was flying back, there was really bad storms all throughout the country and I was flying out of Chicago. There was bad storms there too. So my flight was delayed for a number of hours and since everybody's flight in the Midway airport was delayed at least two and a half hours, outlets were at a minimum throughout the entire airport that night. So I was really glad that I had this, that I could charge my phone uh, throughout the night while I was using it to keep myself entertained. I believe this retails for about maybe 40 or $50, but it's really worth the investment. Uh, just keep it in your purse. This keeps my iPhone charged. If I, I basically let my iPhone die to where it's maybe got 10% left. This little battery of full charge of it will get your phone all the way back up to 100% and it charges pretty fast too. Those are all of the things that I have been loving throughout the month of April. Let me know down in the description or excuse me in the comments box what you guys have been loving throughout the entire month of April as well and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!